Eco Yoga is a retailer which sells clothes and accessories to practice yoga. I'm now playing the role of Bill, who is a sales manager at this company. I want to see how our business is performing and update our financial objectives for 2019. I'm going to use SAP Analytics Cloud to analyze a report done by our BI analyst, Jim, which can be found on SAP Analytics Hub. I'm connecting to SAP Analytics Hub to see the last report that Jim has published. I can see some photos and any optional descriptive information about the report, and here I click on the link to be redirected to SAP Analytics Cloud. The report is now opening up on a geomap presenting a global view of net sales in California. I am interested in the infographics created by Jim about revenue. Let's see what I can learn from it. So first I see that Jim has created a bullet chart that shows the net sales evolution quarter on quarter. I know that our target is a 30% increase between two quarters. With an increase of 17.5%, our goal is clearly not achieved for Q1 2018, despite the good growth of Q4 2017. I need to know what is going on. Jim also prepared a line chart showing the evolution of gross sales and sales returns over time. A spike in sales returns appears in January and March 2018. What is causing it? I want to learn more about this trend so I can correct it. I can use Smart Insights on March 2018 sales returns. The top contributor to this spike seems to be the customer comment, Defective Fabric. So, one of our product lines is defective and I need to know which one it is. I need the dimension product line, so it would be good to use a heat map chart for a better visualization. So I can start by adding the chart provided by Smart Insights. And now add the product dimension. When I display the top five product lines, Thermex appears as the one with the highest number of customer comments on defective fabric. I have to notify my colleague Mark, a financial analyst, of my recent discoveries. I should send him a message and share the story with him. I'm now playing the role of Mark, who is a financial analyst at Eco Yoga. I received a message from my colleague Bill. There is apparently an issue with the Thermex product line. I should check on its average profit margin. I need to go to the KPI Analysis tab to display the average profit margin per product line as a bar chart. Thermex appears with the smallest average profit margin, which supports Bill's results on revenue analysis. I now want to see if the trend for the next quarter is also bad for this product line. I would like to know how the product margin will evolve in Q2 2018. Corporate Q2 forecasts have been generated for this purpose by my colleagues. They relied on the Smart Predict feature, which makes it possible to generate forecasts, probabilities, and values to predict the future state of the business. I'm using the results generated by Smart Predict in a dashboard where I see two charts. The left one shows the evolution of the margin trend for all product lines. When I filter on the product, Thermex, I realize that the margin has reached a plateau and that it will slowly decrease in the future. The right chart is a table showing the current product margin for Q1 2018 and the forecasted margin for Q2 2018. With less than 10% growth, the evolution of the margin for Thermex is alarming, while the margin for other products is properly evolving. The accessorized product line is even better with more than 36% growth. These insights are useful while I now need to plan for my 2019 budget. Since we are at the end of Q1 2018, I need to update our budget for the next similar period Q1 2019. Our CFO expects a year-over-year -year growth of 12% and wants to launch a new product line, so I should adjust the budget while considering our recent observations. I will work on a private version to simulate my budget and publish it when I'm done. I can see on the right part of the page some infographics showing me the amount of money I need to add to reach the 12% goal and the actual percentage of growth my budget will create. First, I need to start my budget with coherent values for Q1 2019. I could do it manually, but to be more accurate and speed up the process, I'm using an integrated planning feature named Predictive Forecast, which will help me to get automated predicted data based on historical data and using predictive algorithms. The result provided by the automated feature will give me predictions from Q2 2018 to Q1 2019, which are empty fields for now. 
I see in the options that the reference period is Q1 2018, which corresponds to the last period of data entered in the system. As a result, I see a chart and a table giving me the predicted margin for the requested periods. I will use this data to fill in my budget. I'm using the reference period Q1 2018 for distribution weighting of the forecasted values. I'm happy with the values added by the tool, but still, based on the latest feedback from the business and my experience, I want to make adjustments. I need to take into consideration the new event in January 2019, the Yoga Expo in Los Angeles. This exhibition should generate at least a 20% increase for our sales. I also know that Thermex is not doing well, so should not be impacted by the increase. I lock the Thermex sale for January. Now I apply a plus 20% on this period for all other products except Thermex. I can now unlock the cell. By the way, note that when I change a value on a parent node, the amount is distributed between children, respecting the actual weights. In addition to the data entry, I need to respect another one of our goals, which is the launch of a new product line. I will now create a new product line. I can call it fitness and refresh the data. After analyzing the actual trend of our different product lines, we decided to assign a $1.6 million budget to fitness. I also need to consider the rise in January due to the Yoga Expo by changing the weight percentage of each month. I now see that I reached the expected margin growth of 12%. The point was to monitor the business evolution of our company. We use three main features of SAP Analytics Cloud to detect an issue, predict its evolution, and rectify our budget in order to achieve our year-over-year -year goal.